Welcome back guys, it's Michael from Starstreams and today we are going to be back with Stranded Deep. I wanted to do something really, really simple that's going to benefit PC players to the game. Sorry consoles, yet again you get the bad rub of the green, but this is a PC only video and it's how to access creative mode and as you can see I've picked uh, an island and I've been using creative mode just to start building a little base. I'm going to be using this base going forward to do tutorial videos on Stranded Deep so I've sort of dumped in a load of stuff using the creative mode. Let me show you without further ado, watch it. Let me show you without further ado how to access it. So you do a backslash on your keyboard which will bring up the developer console, clear the text and then you type in dev.console space true. Once you've done that you'll have a success notification appear on the console. You're then able to uh, backspace again out of that you are now in creative mode to access the creative mode uh, menu you do slash on your keyboard which will bring up this menu all of these individual items are what you can spawn in so for example we can pick bricks and then create prefab and a brick has dropped on my foot obviously if you're doing builds this is huge it is going to kind of spoil the game if you abuse this uh, system, but you can access it at any point during a game. However, I wouldn't recommend it because it's a survival game and you shouldn't cheat, right? But in this particular case, um, I need the creative build because I'm going to make my own little island for the tutorials, as I said. Now, this is a really cool thing. Check this out. Let's access the menu. We could do fly mode and go. Fly mode lets you fly around as if you're walking on air. How cool is that? And then you can just come out of fly mode at any point. There we go. So yeah, amazing. Now here's another trick before I go. Let's say it's getting dark, but you don't want it to get dark because you're building something. You want it nice and brightly lit. So I'm going to do the opposite, by the way. Let's, let's pretend it's dark. You can type in DEF dot time and then you can use the 24 hour clock. So zero is midnight, 12 is midday. So let's say for example we do 23 which is 11 p.m. and it changes the time. How cool is that? By the way, do you like my, uh, do you like my design? It's pretty cool, isn't it? There's a secret cave down there, but let's not talk about that. Um, yeah, so if you're doing your build and you want to have daytime, what you're going to do, you're going to bring up your console and you're going to put dev dot time. And let's say eight o'clock is always eight is always a good time because the sunrise, as you can see, and it's nice, clear day. There's other commands that we won't go into at the moment because this is just a how to guide, but that is essentially how you access the uh, the dev on a PC version of Stranded Deep. I do hope that this has been a useful video for you. Uh, if so, please consider a thumbs up. Definitely consider a subscribe for more Stranded Deep tutorials. I'm going to be doing lots of stuff here. We're going to I'm going to continue to build this island, probably on a couple of live streams maybe. And then we're going to build some rafts and we're going to build some houses and we're going to do some special custom builds. It's going to be really exciting. So do stay tuned for that. In the meantime, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, bye.